guys! Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts, opinions, and feels on Salt of the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. This video is being sponsored by Penguin Teen, but know that all thoughts, opinions, and feels are my own. This book takes place in 1945, when World War II begins to come to a close in East Prussia. We follow four different perspectives throughout this novel. We have Joanna, Florian, Amelia, and Alfred. We also have several different side characters, but these are the main perspectives that we follow throughout this book. And essentially, all these characters are running for their lives. They're doing everything in their power to survive, and that means they must evacuate, and the way they do that is through a ship called Wilhelm Gustloff. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's all I'm going to tell you when it comes to the description of this book. I don't want to go in too much deeper because I'm afraid that I might spoil something, and I definitely don't want to spoil this book for you. This is definitely a book that you want to read and experience for yourself, and if I were to ever ruin that, I would be so mad at myself because I love this book so much, and I want more people to go out and read this book and kind of discover it for themselves. I'm actually going to link you to a video where the author discusses her book and what it's all about because I found it to be just such an interesting video. She goes into details as to how she wrote this book and kind of what this book means to her and I just found it to be a really insightful video. She does kind of reveal the end result of this story because this book is based on a real thing that happened and she talks about that thing that happened. So if you know nothing about this book or the event that takes place within this book, I would wait to watch it till you've read the book but I will leave a link to it down below. It's definitely worth watching when you finish this book. I also believe that if you go into this book knowing the end result and knowing the story of the Wilhelm Gustloff, that you'll still find yourself really appreciating the story because you don't know the characters and the things that they're going through. I had no idea the story behind the Wilhelm Gustloff, and I'm really glad that I read this book because it opened my eyes up to the situation that I'd never heard of before. So I'm glad I waited to watch that video till after I read this book, so I would suggest doing that as well. I'm going to start off with my initial thoughts on this book. I just got to put it out there. I love this book so much. I went into this book not really sure what to expect. I didn't really know too much about the story, so I really had no clue what I was getting myself into. But the more the story unraveled, the more that I found myself falling in love with this book. I don't read much historical fiction books. I would like to read more. And I think that this book definitely inspired me to go out there and read more historical fiction, especially more of Ruta's books, because I know that she has two other books out there that are historical fiction pieces, and I really want to read those as well. This was just such a remarkable story, and it really made a mark on my mind. I feel like sometimes historical fiction books can kind of be a little bit hard to get into. Sometimes they can just be overwhelming with the amount of information and details that are being thrown at you. But this book doesn't do that. It does give you loads of information and kind of informs you on this event that actually happened, but it's not overbearing in any way. And the information that was revealed, I just found to be really interesting. So I wanted to soak it all in and read it all up. And I think there's something to be said as to why this is. And I think that's because Ruta has figured out a way in which to deliver this information in such an interesting and fascinating way. And I think the way that she brought in these characters and how they interacted together really pulled this book together and made it into a tremendous story. There's just such a real style when it comes to her writing. She really builds up the insanity and turmoil of World War II. Your heart aches for the characters because the journey that you're going on with them in this book, it feels so real. They feel like real people and you feel like you're just in their shoes. This is one of those books where you're just completely transported into the book and by the end of it, the characters are just completely imprinted on your mind. Characters that you'll think about often and a story that you'll never forget. This book had some really striking prose, little pieces of writing that you're not expecting to hit you and haunt you like they do. It brought me back to reading We Were Liars. I know that these books are completely different, but some of the little striking writing pieces just brought me back to We Were Liars. You'll be reading the book and this line will just come up and hit you and it completely catches you off guard. And you're just like, wait, what? What in the world did I just read? The character dynamics were fascinating because they're all from different walks of life, but they each have the same goal. That being to survive the situation that they're in. Each character has their own point of view and you really get to know these characters very well. And I found it really pleasant to be able to see this story from different angles. So those are all my thoughts, opinions, and feels on Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. I would highly recommend checking out this book, especially if you're wanting to get into more historical fiction. I would highly recommend checking this book out. You guys should let me know down below if you are planning to check out Salt to the Sea. I'd love to know, and I really want you to read it, so you totally should read it. Also, if you've read Salt to the Sea, let me know your thoughts on this book. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Click subscribe if you want to be notified for when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye, choo! I'm gonna set this book down now because my arm is starting to hurt. <laughs>